the law of one press says that the leverage does not affect the firm's total value rather it ch changes the allocation of the cash flows between debt and the equity without altering the firm's total cash flows in this scenario the famous modigliani and miller has showed uh, and proved this particular theme under a specified set of assumptions now commonly known as the perfect capital market so what is perfect capital market it is a market where buyer and sellers are for the same set of securities and the trading of these securities is happening at the price that is equal to the present values of future cash flows of these securities traders are free from taxes and transaction cost or other issuance cost etc and the firm's cash flows from its assets are independent of its choice of capital structures so these are the assumptions of and characteristics of perfect capital market in this scenario the mm proposition 1 is developed which says that in a perfect capital market the market value of a firm's securities is equal to the market values of the cash flows generated by the underlying assets and the firm value is unaffected by the choice of its capital structure so what is the relationship between mm and the price law of one price we see that in a perfect capital market the cash flows related to the capital providers are equal to the cash flows generated by the firm's underlying assets so the law of one price say, uh, says the same which means that the market value of the firm's securities is equal to the market value of the cash flows generated by the firm's underlying assets now if a firm's choice of securities does not alter its cash flows from the underlying assets then this means that the firm value does not change so the zero npv on buying and selling of the fairly priced securities means that firm value does not change the future debt repayment are equal to the loans upfront received by the firm and this means that there is no gain or loss using any leverage so the value of the firm here is the function of the present value of the cash flows of a firm from its current and future investments so what is home made leverage we know that an investor may prefer capital structure alternative to the firm this means that investor can borrow or lend on their own for the same results for example an investor wanting more leverage than the firm can borrow to add leverage to his or her own portfolio in this case we can define the home made leverage which allows an investor to adjust leverage choice made by the firm so the act of the investor is termed as the home made leverage and if the investor can borrow as long as at a rate equal to the firm's borrowing rate then the home made leverage is a best substitute for the investor now to understand home made leverage we have an example where we have an all equity firm and one of the investors preferring levered equity is intended to have leverage in his own portfolio through buying some stock on margin loan and he can get this risk free margin loan against the firm's cash flows at 5% rate of interest now these cash flows will be treated as collateral for the margin loans now the investor can replicate the payoffs to the levered equity through this home made leverage and the cost will be the $500 now here the law of price says one price law of one price says that value of levered equity must be equal to $500 and that we can see in the uh, below table 
where in the first column the value of margin loan is $500 and deducting this loan from the unlevered equity of the firm the levered equity comes to $500 for the firm now in another scenario we have a firm that is using debt but the investor is preferring to hold some unlevered equity and for that purpose he can replicate the payoff of the unlevered equity by buying both the securities that is debt and equity of this particular firm now combining the cash flows of these two particular securities it produces the cash flows identical to the unlevered firm equity at a total cost of $1000 and that can we see in the below table where in the first column the debt has value of $500 and the equity which is levered equity that has a cash flow of $500 and the combined value of these two cash flows on debt and security comes to a total of $1000 and that is a cash flow that this particular investor wants to have now what is the conclusion from these two particular cases where a firm is wholly uh, using the equity and the second where the firm is using the debt uh, we can see that in each of the two cases the firm's choice of capital structure is not affecting the capital uh, its total value at all and it does not have any effect for the opportunities available to the investor investor that we have seen that they can alter the leverage choice of the firm according to their personal tastes personal tastes and different choices of the capital structure do not affect the firm value in this particular uh, perfect capital market uh, this means that there are no offering of benefit to the investors in this particular market and that is the uh, proof that was showed by the famous M&M in their uh, theory.